Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm reading today for Virgo Energy for July. Um, hopefully it's going to be a quick reading. I am a little bit under the weather. I'm a little bit clumsy. Uh, so uh, just if you're noticing that, please forgive me. But yeah, I'm reading ahead for July. So it might not make a huge amount of sense now. It might be something that's kind of coming up for you. So just checking in this reading again in a couple of weeks and see kind of if anything's changed in that regard. Uh, so Virgo. You're coming in like Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce is a Virgo. I don't know how you feel particularly about Beyonce, but trust me, it's a compliment. You're coming in as, um, again, flip and reverse it. So um, there's this kind of like King and Queen of Pentacles energy in your reading. Oh, just to say as well, my, my eldest child is behind me playing Sims. So uh, you may hear them clattering back there in the background. We also have a cat under the bed, so you might hear him as well. And a cat. <laughs> and it's been very, very quiet, actually. Yeah, it's really um, quiet. So you've got this kind of king and queen of pentacles energy that's um, normally these are two people who are like business partners or husband and wife, counterparts. Normally they've really got it going on in terms of uh, organizational skills, managing money, uh, you know, being on a schedule. Uh, normally they've kind of uh, very organized, very practical uh people who are working together collaboratively this is the normal reading of the king and queen of pentacles so it's coming in for you like uh you've had all these cards that have been coming through in the kind of like uh pre-reading so you had the king of pentacles you had the emperor you had a card that says wealthy man so it's like it can't make it any more clear my own deck came out with the king and the queen so which is very similar to king of pentacles so it's making it very very obvious that there's a male energy or a masculine energy uh just to be aware we all carry feminine and masculine energy so it could be a w someone who presents as a woman but that acting in masculine energy but it's coming through with this uh a lot of this kind of king of pentacles emperor wealthy man energy so it does seem like there's somebody who is is perhaps particularly well off for you um it's coming in as well like so again you could be the wealthy man and you could be like dating a queen of pentacles but i'm going to read as though you're the you're the feminine but flip it in reverse if needs be so the feminine that's coming through and the reason why i keep saying beyonce is because it's like again it's like queen of pentacles very organized very skilled she's quite independent right she's an independent woman um and it's like what does she say the car i'm driving i bought it the house i live in i bought it you know destiny's child uh so it's kind of coming in with that kind of song and um i kind of got my back up in your reading because the situation that i'm seeing for you is there could be somebody in your community in your friendship group in your social circle who is kind of acting like a bit snaky um, and they're kind of gossiping and it sounds like if there's a situation where perhaps there's uh, a couple, the man perhaps is particularly wealthy, um, the woman is being talked about as though she's a gold digger or as though she's, um, you know, only with him for his money or something like this. There's something really catty about it. But again, it's like the way it's coming through to me, the way it's presenting to me is like, somebody accusing Beyonce of being a gold digger, right? It doesn't make any sense, like, because again, Beyonce is this Virgo. It's like, she's really very successful. She's uh, a businesswoman. She's got her own money. She's got her own stuff going on. So it's like accusing somebody who's very independent of being a gold digger. It doesn't make sense, right? So it's like, well, why is this person being bitchy like that. I don't know if they've kind of like misread the situation. So it did really get my back up actually and I got quite snotty about it um, and I've ended up putting my engagement ring on which I bought myself. So it's got that kind of energy. It's like, uh, like I, it feels like you're going like, how dare someone accuse me of being like a gold digger when I, you know, I, it's like I set up this business. I bought this myself. I did this. I did that. It's like, I don't know. It's like, again, I don't know if somebody's misreading a situation or if they're intentionally being catty i don't know what this energy is but yeah so some of your songs so you got um thank goddess by queen herbie uh, and she says things like so much abundance he worships me i don't give a damn if he's rich i think uh you if you think i need a man that's rich um and be my sugar daddy you all could never handle this so it's she's kind of saying like she doesn't need a sugar daddy she's got it going on right she makes her own money um and it's kind of like 
you could be somebody's sugar mummy as well it's kind of like queen of pentacles beyonce it's like no like this could be the sugar mummy figure so it's making me think of that other beyonce song as well it's like um to the left to the left everything you own in a box to the left in the closet that's my stuff so it's like she's bought it right she's like that's my jag give me the keys it's my jag i bought it so it's like um yeah, it's really weird and there's something in that song as well it says don't give me green lights that's a red flag which is funny because in leo's reading i was saying that i was getting green light like something was being green lit i think it was leo's reading and it's like some, maybe it's something to do with like oh don't give me permission to do things i do what i want to do i don't need you to give me permission on like maybe how i spend my money it's, it's it feels very it feels very, very like it's about money and it's maybe about people being jealous of people who've got money. Um, I was seeing as well, um, what's his name? Prince, should know, Prince William. Prince William's face flashed up into my head. So again, because you've got all those cards about like King of Pentacles, wealthy man. I don't know if there's somebody who's quite privileged, perhaps. Maybe somebody's called William or Will, Bill, something like that. Um, and you also had, as if I wasn't, so I went down to make myself a cup of coffee after channeling all this. Um, and the song that came on was The Offspring, Why Don't You Get a Job? And I, I really was irritated. Uh, so I feel like you could be very, very irritated with this energy. It's it's almost somebody, it feels like you really underappreciated because I was also getting, um, when I very first started channeling for you, I was getting um, an episode of The Simpsons where he goes, it's an inanimate carbon rod. And basically Homer is an astronaut and he, uh, he stops everybody getting sucked out into space by cramming this carbon rod into the door right to jam the door but he doesn't get any of the credit he's basically the hero but he doesn't get any credit the inanimate carbon rod gets all the credit so it's almost like you're feeling like you're not being valued you feel like you've worked really hard perhaps to get into this king or queen of pentacles energy and people are just maybe giving all the praise to somebody else maybe a partner and you're like well actually like this was a teamwork thing it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like there's inside the relationship it feels like it's absolutely fine so it doesn't feel like anyone's partner is kind of like not valuing them or anyone's partner is um is kind of uh being a bit like oh why don't you get a, get a job yeah it doesn't feel like it's in the relationship the relationship itself feels like like king and queen of pentacles right mutually supportive like power couple energy uh but yeah it's it's weird but you did have the song send my love to your new lover by adele so again it could be maybe this is like a jealous ex or something send my love to your new lover uh, i hope hope he treats you better i don't know it's kind of a bit it could be a jealous ex um I've got a lot of references to dream girl these these words keep coming through dream girl dream girl dream girl so somebody could be somebody's dream girl uh, somebody could be dreaming of a girl um, and also head spinning so references to somebody's head spinning so it could be that there's somebody who's very attractive they make heads turn um, or it could be somebody's perhaps a bit dizzy again I'm a bit unwell due to the very hot stagnant weather like the the humid weather it's making me ill it make it, it's making me sick and achy and dizzy so it could be something like that maybe somebody's gonna um have a bit of a spinning head um in july at one point hopefully everybody's okay didn't feel serious it just felt again it like somebody feels dizzy um uh, you had from my own deck the king of queens the king of pentacles right the raven and the stallion uh, so it felt like somebody was going to get some news and some action was being taken around money um and now you've got the crows and the siren the siren is feeling again like almost like a temptress energy perhaps it feels again like there's there's somebody who's kind of like a an Eve type or a, an Eris type character, if you want to look up um, Eris in cl uh, classical mythology, um, who's um, kind of stirring the pot a little bit, you know, trying to kind of like ruffle everybody's feathers. It's funny, you've got the crows, right? It's a bit like somebody who's a cat amongst the pigeons, perhaps. But the crows can talk about, um, the crows and the siren could be like a warning sign. So pay attention to any signs and symbols that you have to communicate with your guides this month. Watch out for kind of bad omens. Uh, the crows and the siren could be like bad omens, but it could also be, uh, the crows can be like a spy network. Um, in my own deck so it's almost like people spying on someone who's kind of in siren energy again it could be again it could be people talking negatively about someone 
who's like a dream girl to someone so again if this is like you know this king of pentacles character this wealthy man and he's met his dream girl uh there could be a lot of you know especially if he's very eligible it could be that there's a lot of um you know, jealous people out there who are saying, oh, that girl, she's just, you know, she's just a gold digger. She's just a siren. She's like Eve. She's a temptress. Again, it just could be, um, you know, people doing what people do when they're low vibrational and just kind of projecting their own insecurities onto someone else who's doing well. It, it happens. I think you can rise above it. Um, you've got The Way You Are, which is, I think a song by Bruno Mars, but it's the cover by Maddie Jane, which is like... Uh, you're perfect to me you're absolutely perfect exactly as you are so i feel like she says um if i compliment him he won't believe me and it felt like a very virgo thing because virgos are a sign of um perfection the perfectionists uh this can come through in different ways so it's not it's not gonna be in every aspect of your life again it does depend on your placements i'd say something like Virgo Mars is kind of more, uh, it's funny you've got Bruno Mars, Virgo Mars, mm. okay that could be something for somebody, um, actually specifically if somebody's Virgo Mars, I was seeing Action Man, you know the doll Action Man, uh, he's kind of like a, like an army man, um, and um, a hunting knife, and I thought maybe somebody's going out camping, maybe somebody's doing a lot of kind of like wilderness or survival stuff, it's very very Virgo Mars, because Virgo is kind of like the Action Man of the of the astrology or the action woman the action hero of the astrology um and they do tend to be quite practical and outdoorsy and skilled and um that kind of thing so again it does depend on your full placements but uh virgo virgo mars bruno mars virgo mars i don't know what there's something about that what's coming through with this kind of like maybe somebody's going camping maybe somebody's doing like survival training maybe somebody's uh um i was getting like paperback writer again so it could be like somebody's writing a kind of like um, a survival book like sas survival tips and tricks it could be something like that as well um but yeah, uh, so it's if I compliment him, he won't believe me. Or if I compliment her or they, them, I, they won't believe me. Because Virgo can be a perfectionist, right? They have very, very high ideals, very high standards. Um, and uh, yes, they want everybody else to match those high standards, but they're even tougher on themselves. Um, so they're their own worst critic kind of thing. So um, it's kind of like... you maybe you're finding it hard to accept a compliment maybe when somebody compliments you you kind of like brush it off or make a joke i've got a habit of doing this hang on yeah so um yeah maybe somebody's kind of um very self-critical and they don't take a compliment well um and maybe this is something to do with feeling underappreciated as well it's like um because if you're the sort of person who rejects compliments or not a lot people will stop giving you compliments because they think oh it makes them uncomfortable they don't want to hear it i'll keep these compliments to myself um it could also be because you've got these kind of like dark matter cards where it's it's like uh, her mouth's covered right it's like she's she's been, she's not saying something right it's almost like some, she can't spit out the words or something's preventing her from speaking so it could be that you really want to come up, compliment somebody you find somebody very attractive perhaps or uh you just want to tell them how awesome they are but um you think that they won't believe you if you if you tell them right uh they'll just brush it off or whatever um you were coming through originally very very quiet like something was kind of being kept inside or uh like you were it came across at first a little bit like magician energy almost like uh virgo's got tricks up the sleeve they don't they're trying to do something and not be noticed not like seven of not really seven of swords which seven of swords is more sneaky it just felt a bit like uh playing your cards cr close to your chest um, and yeah, kind of, uh, it has this feeling of something almost like burning inside, right? Uh, but not not speaking on it. I feel like, I don't necessarily think anyone is stopping you from speaking. It doesn't feel like, Jesus. oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, the ring light just fell down unexpectedly. So if somebody, um, that could be something, uh, rips a uh, light, just be careful of lights falling. Um, so yeah, um, it could be something like, sometimes like uh, you people sign NDAs or kind of like, uh, you know, um, you know, maybe it's like a secret. You're asked not to share the secret with anyone else. It could be something like that where you've been asked to not say something. But I feel more that it's, um, sorry, I'm very, very warm, sweaty. The cards are a bit sweaty too. Um, but it feels more like um, this is self-imposed to me. I mean, take it as it resonates. But yeah, it's like something inside. It's like the more you don't say this, right? The more you're not able to say this. And it feels like maybe you can't find the right words or you just, you know... You, 
what the more you don't like it's funny can you see me stumbling over my words as i'm saying this the more you don't speak on this the more it's kind of like uh, the power of it's growing inside you um, and it's turning into you're doing something here where can you see how the butterfly moves from her mouth to her head so it's like it's it could be about some sort of change um, it could be about something that is quite dark dark matter it could be like a dark subject mystery but it's like the let when you're not speaking on this it's like that intensity is growing inside and then with focus and this being over the third eye it's almost like it it's almost like you're doing something where it's like you're transmuting the energy. It's turning into almost like a laser beam, like a laser focus. So again, with like the crows and the siren, it could be something where maybe you're observing. It would be interesting to see if um, the page of swords comes out. It's like you could be watching, you could be observing, you could be kind of spying on somebody, um, but not speaking. And then it's kind of like um, the f it's more of an intense focus on this thing that you're you're gathering information on perhaps but yeah it turns into blossoming right so uh, it does feel like queen of pentacles energy she's very abundant looking she's got all those flowers um and she's skilled right she's playing a violin so it's it's uh some kind of skill or talent or um uh growth that you will be experiencing and it's almost like this quiet period is just this intensifying of the energy that's going to kind of like blossom into something hopefully good it is pointing towards the future um you also got um marjorie by taylor swift um i felt like so i'm going to say something personal but sometimes they give me things in a personal way so that i can explain it and you can be like oh my goodness yes i'm experiencing the same thing so my nana was a virgo um and she was a, an independent woman right she she after her husband died she kind of had a boyfriend for a while but she she lived alone she had her own house and she was very independent right until the last stages of her life uh, so you could have a very very independent uh, grandmother nana aunt figure like an older lady uh, somebody could be called Marjorie um, this person could be in spirit now but um, the song Marjorie it always makes me think of my nana because it says things and it's very Virgo it says never be so never be so kind that you forget to be clever never be so clever that you forget to be kind now Virgo is a very kind caring nurturing energy again I don't typically see it as the Queen of Pentacles I normally read the Queen of Pentacles as Capricorn and the King of Pentacles as Taurus uh, there's a siren right but um you know i would normally say virgo is like uh the knight of pentacles uh the page of pentacles the seven of pentacles this kind of like planning energy um and like doing things properly like slow and methodically it tends to be more virgo to me uh but you are you do virgo does care a lot about Again, this is dependent on things like your Mercury placement. Maybe somebody has Virgo Mercury, Mercury. but Virgo tends to be a very social sign and uh, they show up for their friends and their loved ones on a very, very practical level. Uh, you know, they're a provider, they're a caregiver. So, um, yeah, you could have something like that. So don't let people take advantage of you. Uh, don't let people take your kindness for granted. Remember to be clever. Um, this is another thing. Uh, Virgos are very, uh, one of the most analytical signs um, in the zodiac, the, the most analytical earth sign. Uh, and uh, yeah, just be wary of analysis paralysis that always comes for you through for you as well. Right, I'm going to stand up and move around a little bit to kind of air myself off because it's so warm. And then we'll pull you some cards on camera. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I don't feel much better. I'm kind of like sliding around in my chair. It's so humid. It's funny as well. I, I felt awful when I woke up this morning. I think the hot weather had just really got to me. So I rang in sick to work. Uh, and like had a big sleep and I woke up and I still felt groggy and awful but I was like well I can do a reading because I'm basically just sat here um, and I was thinking to myself I should have gone into work because at least work has air conditioning and like fans and here I've just got all the windows closed because I've got a new cat and it's just a greenhouse it's not helping uh, right okay so let's put these away Right, what do we have going on for? Maybe they want a card out of here for you. I wouldn't normally put them away. The Maiden. So the Maiden and the Ring. Ah, I don't know. Proposal maybe. Uh, the Maiden and the Ring. Um, this is... The Maiden is kind of like a, a young, inexperienced... Uh, 
uh, not necessarily vulnerable, but maybe slightly naive uh, energy. They tend to be quite pure though. They tend to be um, kind, kind of think Disney princess. Uh, the ring uh, is a symbol of commitment. It is a symbol of, um, it could be somebody's getting like a telephone call as well, but normally it's a single symbol of loyalty, commitment, a promise that's been made. Um, it could be something about inherit inheriting a ring. Um, okay. What do we have, please? What do we have for Virgo energy? What is Virgo dealing with in July? What's going on for Virgo? Se secretive. Uh, so, yeah, this kind of like, is very secretive love. Do you know, I said, like, I, I was picking up on someone, like, observing someone, maybe being a little bit obsessive about someone. This feels like that. So, again, whether this is you or this is somebody that you're dealing with, uh, this is the sexual man. It's kind of Mars energy. You can see he's got that symbol around his necklace there. So, there's kind of like the romantic man and the uh, more sexually motivated man in and the same the equivalence with women as well in this deck uh the ace of cups though this is somebody who has um it's kind of like unconditional love it's kind of like a pure heart uh they want to come in with some kind of like um very sincere offer but they're very very passionate they're very very um physical uh and with the car flipping and hiding this normally means this is hidden so again i had that feeling of like someone watching somebody but not being able to speak not being able to express how they feel uh and the 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 more this goes on the more intense the feeling about this it's like that 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 um those feelings are just kind of like increasing and growing oh i should say as well because like the imagery of this card as well kind of was giving me that it's kind of like this burning inside energy uh and also this kind of like mixing of two energies um so um underneath this was uh the journey in Persephone, this Hades card. Now, this does normally mean to me, um, it can symbolise people who are um, journeying into the underworld. So people who are on the other side. And I did say as well, like somebody could have a grandmother who's on the other side. But this card came out for me quite a bit when um, my father was passing away. So uh, it's, it's stepping into a new experience kind of thing. But Persephone is also here so as i tipped these cards out i haven't shuffled them yet uh the persephone card is here as well so you've got persephone twice so persephone's like um it's kind of a bit like high priestess energy but um younger um uh, again you've got like the maiden there so it's it's something like um, persephone is the wife of hades right hades is the god of the underworld um and she spends half a life in the underworld and half a life in the overworld and this is why we have the seasons so when she goes to the underworld her mother misses her and her mother's the goddess of the harvest uh, and that's why you know the crops die we have winter and then persephone comes up and spends time with her mother and uh, her mother's happy and we have spring and summer so this is um persephone symbolizes an energy that can travel between two realms right between uh the 3d realm and the afterlife so it could be somebody who's very spiritual it could be somebody who perhaps has uh, dreams i had a dream about my dad last night this is another reason why i just felt awful this morning because i kind of had a dream about my dad and it's father's day and it, i didn't expect i didn't expect to get into my emotions about it but i did um but yeah and it, it's also it says youth and innocence and i was saying that this maiden energy is this very similar energy so it's it's very kind it's very gentle you've also got in case this is anything for someone star family soulmate star seed um so again star family it could be talking about family that are on the other side and them coming to visit you or you going to visit them uh also as well green tara there's something about green tea it keeps on coming up for me this week i actually accidentally put green tea in my coffee <laughs> it was an interesting combination um so yeah so it's quite a lot of stuff they're getting a bit distracted child there could be a child involved there could be something about something that happened or somebody that you knew when you were a child uh what else do we have please for Virgo for July definitely check out your Mars placement again this is a Mars energy uh, so it could be encouraging you to check out your Mars placement because whatever your Mars placement is, this is um, what motivates you, what makes you angry, what makes you feel passionate, uh, where your drive comes from, what you do when you get angry, all these kinds of things. So uh, do check out your Mars sign. Distant horizons. So it feels like something, something that 
maybe seems difficult to accomplish, right? And it's it's something, perhaps some kind of goal that you've got um, set for the future. It's something that you want to do. It could involve uh, travel, travel by plane. Um, but it does feel like there's something that you're aiming for. It feels a little bit impossible, but the flying ship always symbolizes the impossible being made possible. So um, stick with it and keep your eyes on the prize. Um, it may be a long time away, but it is achievable, is kind of the meaning of that card. And you've got concern there. So concerns about something that feels a little bit far off. Okay. So tell me about, let's ask about the, the passionate man first. Tell me about the, let's put them there. Passionate man for Virgo, please. Passionate man for Virgo. Could be a Leo. Uh, Leo, Aries, maybe fire sign energy, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Again, check out people's Mars placements. Yeah, the temperance, uh, that could be confirming Sagittarius. Again, Sagittarius, Mars. I've got Sagittarius, Mars. Um, Sagittarius, Mars, I always say is like squirrel energy. It's very easily distracted. Um, it's very all or nothing. Again, you had all those cards about focus. So I'm going to bring this up because, um, it kind of feels like I'm being led to talk about this. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit all or nothing. So uh, you're either eyes on the prize, uh, bullseye, going straight for it energy, or you're just not interested and it's very hard to feel motivated. So um, motivation is very all or nothing with Mars in uh, Sagittarius placements. It can be a very disorganized energy as well, as can actually Mars in Virgo. Mars in Vir Virgo likes to be organized, likes to be, likes to have schedules, likes to have lists, likes to have a plan. But because of the kindness of Virgo energy, um, Virgo Mars people can um, overcommit to things. They can uh, make too many promises to too many people um, and get quite scattered because it's like their energy is trying to do juggle too many things all at once uh, and then they kind of let people down and then they beat themselves up very very virgo mars uh so uh, again just be careful if you've got virgo mars placement not to overcommit. uh you know be really you know if it's better to say no i'm sorry i just don't have time uh than to promise to do something and then fail that person you know you'll just feel terrible afterwards so um you know you can always say i'll help in three weeks when i'm free you know that kind of thing um uh, yes, yeah, especially to like family, uh, anyone you care about, just be careful about overcommitting. Um, and yeah, so Mars in Sagittarius, very scattergun, very much um, tends to have a lot of projects on the go. Um, like start one thing, get distracted, squirrel, and then go on to something else, kind of like leave the first thing. Um, can be very messy energy. Uh, but it's very well-meaning, it's very high honour, uh, very motivated by doing the right thing. Um, and uh, having a cause as well a little bit. Um, and um, if Mars in Sagittarius get into confrontation, they tend to have a bit of a flight or, f flight or fight approach. So um, if there's an energy that they don't like, if they're getting angry, uh, they can sometimes need to kind of like get out and kind of, I don't know, go for a walk, go for a run, go outdoors. Um, Sagittarius is associated with travel and adventure and, and that kind of thing. So um, it could actually be very compatible if you've got someone who's v um, Virgo Mars. Virgo Mars, when, I don't know why, it's just this Mars energy making me talk about it. Virgo Mars can be very irritable when they get angry, um, rather than being, um, they can be physical because it's an earth sign, so uh, it can be a little bit like willing to throw a few punches, but normally, um, Virgo Mars is irritated. Irritated, this is bothering me, I'm going to be a bit critical, I'm going to kind of complain a lot. Um, and again, with it being a very physical, outdoorsy sign, I was talking about Action Man, right? Uh, they can also really benefit from exercising. Um, Virgo is a is a, a sign associated with health and fitness. So um, it could be very compatible for, uh, if there's a Virgo, um, Virgo, Mars and the Sagittarius Mars, it could be compatible because it could be like, okay, let's get outdoors and blow some steam and kind of like go for a walk or go for an adventure. Could actually be quite compatible. Uh, you've also got Leo here as well. So again, so Leo, oh, why is it coming through like this? Uh, Leo Mars placements uh, are motivated by, um, they like to take the lead. 
uh, they are motivated by being seen to do the right thing. So um, a Virgo, uh, sorry, a Leo Mars placement tends to be, I mean, they're very generous, they're very, um, the magnetic, the generous, and kind of things like this, but they, they like to take charge, they like to take the lead, but they do like to be seen to do the right thing because Leo always comes with this energy of, I feel like I'm being watched, right? I feel like I'm being watched, I feel like I'm being judged. They're very aware of what people think of them. So um, a lot of the time, Leo, Mars will do something because they want other people to think they're doing the right thing rather than doing something that they genuinely want to do themselves. So just watch out for that too. So. Again, this, so going back to the cards, so this sexy man, right, this passionate man, very physical, uh, seems to be being very, very patient. And I did say it's this kind of fire and water energy, right, with the fire being um, the kind of passion, the Mars energy, the drive, and the water being this kind of cups energy of emotion. So it does feel like somebody who's kind of wrestling a little bit, they're holding back, they're wrestling with... Um, there's perhaps sexual desires and emotional needs um, and what's happening is this is creating an alchemical process so you can see actually the, the fire and the water in these two cups um, which seems to be creating something new so this could be somebody who's really wrestling with new feelings it could be somebody who's always been motivated by desire in relationships and now you know they, they've hit the feelings like they're feeling love for the first time like hang on you know, it, this doesn't make sense. It could be the sort of person who um, they have, they kind of, they love a lot of people. They love their family. They love their children. They love their parents, their grandparents. Um, but their relationships have always been sexual. And so to have both, right, it's kind of like, oh, hang on, I care for this person. They feel like family to me, but I also want to fuck them. <laughs> it can feel, sorry, sorry, Jay. <laughs> she knows what I'm like. They know what I'm like. Um, you know, say anything about you saying the word fuck, you know. Uh, you do tend to use that word quite a lot yourself, I to do. be fair. I'm yes. a bad influence. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm, I'm a bad influence. <laughs> it's not Friday, exactly. we're not allowed to swear. Um, so yeah, so um, it feels like, uh, oh hang on, this is, I've met someone here that I feel both love and desire for, this is new. Um, how does this fit me, right? So there's this holding back energy, but again it feels like it's increasing the more, the more you hold back um yeah oh yeah 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 two of cups and the hermit so this is actually whoever this is whether this is you or somebody around you um again it's like two cups right so it's, it, it does feel like this temperance energy of fire meets water but it working it's like it you wouldn't expect it to work but it works is the way it's coming through two of cups is best friend energy it's soulmate energy it's um does when i say soulmate it doesn't necessarily mean um like happily ever after like um romantic it doesn't have to be romantic you can have like your best friend the two of cups is the best way that i can describe the two of cups is um do you ever have those kind of relationships where you know the person so well that you can catch the right you can be in a crowded room and you can catch the right and you'll know exactly what they're thinking and you it's like they're looking at you and you're thinking yeah let's go outside and have a chat right it's like you just it's like you can read each other's mind especially this card it's just got this mind reading energy and you did have that card as well it looked like it was like focus right and um and I was saying it's like you can't say it so you're trying to like mentally project this to that other person it does have that kind of feeling but whoever this is I feel like they do feel quite alone I feel like maybe maybe they feel like this isn't working right they're trying to mentally project and they f they're not seeing the results of it so they're left in this hermit energy which the hermit energy again is Virgo energy so this is your card here um it's this energy of needing to do some soul searching, right? To to have a bit of time alone or to take you to withdraw a little bit and kind of again like alchemize like what does this mean? Can I have some guidance? So again, it could be that you're asking God or uh passed over loved ones for guidance. Uh but again, it's just this um internalizing uh, soul searching, uh, figuring things out within energy, which is quite healthy. It's good for you to do that. Uh, not too much. Again, don't get analysis paralysis. But yeah, you definitely have this feeling of meeting somebody, um, having very mixed feelings for them. They feel 
like a friend but there is desire there and then it's uh, or this is somebody around you again it doesn't have to be you um, and it's provoking this real soul searching energy again this could be this a player it could be a player they could be you know they could have the biggest heart with like their their friends and family you know to their loved ones it's like they go to the end of the earth for them but uh their relationships have always been um you know hookups right always just like a booty call um and then to meet somebody that they're in love with um and that they they feels like they're part of the family but they still like have that passion for them it's, it feels like they you know it's changing who they are in a way it's changing the way that they live their life so there is this confusion around it which again it could be why this person feels a bit yeah queen of wands they whoever this person's got their eye on and again take gender out of it if it's two guys it's two guys yeah oh my god look at that yeah oh 100 so i don't want to take too many cards the tower oh my god there's just so much it just keeps going this is exactly it this is really confirming it for me so the queen of wands is somebody who's very very attractive so again it can be siren energy um she's not bad in the reverse she can be a little bit bad right uh we all have light and shadow but in the upright the queen of wands is she knows what she wants she's very confident she's not afraid to go out and get what she wants uh she's very creative she's very funny she's very vivacious very very attractive normally very physically attractive if not traditionally pretty uh, they make the most of themselves right it doesn't have to be female as well but this is really feeling like king of wands queen of wands very strong attraction here very strong chemistry now if this isn't sexual for whatever reason it could be uh very creative like two people who get together and it's like uh sparks fly loads of creative ideas really excited very fun um you know it doesn't have to be physical but there are indicators there that it is um and then with the knight of cups immediately under it it's exactly what i was saying so how this is like the sexual man but he's got the ace of cups this is the knight of cups so this is pisces energy this is very much about um the well the, the ace of cups is unconditional love it's kind of um it's very open-hearted it's very uh very accepting it's very divine um and it's always a new relationship right so this is like two ace of cups coming together uh the knight of cups is bearing the, the ace of cups right he's riding in he's kind of he wants to stand outside someone's window and blast love songs on a on a stereo he wants to recite poetry to someone he wants to sweep somebody up and whisk them off like he's he's very gallant he's very romantic he's very much like a he she they they are that typical kind of uh knight in shining armor energy really gorgeous energy but they can be a little bit dreamy they can pull the wool over their own eyes sometimes so the interesting thing here is is he's racing in but there's this little mouse going stop way and then the horse is going he's pulling back so there's this urge to kind of go racing in with his heart open but he's he's pulling himself back right could be a little bit intimidated but i want to say it's because there's this conflict right the five of cups is um the five of cups the five of wands is conflict it's competition again this person could have a lot of admirers uh they could have a lot of suitors so it's kind of like i'm gonna have to fight off the competition here uh, you know if i'm gonna show up and try and like you know win this woman over this person over i need to go to the gym i need to work out i need to buy some new clothes i need to be like the hottest guy in the room the hottest person in the room uh for this person to even look my way because i need to stand out from the competition but again it could also be symbolizing this internal conflict which they're wrestling with quite successfully i want to say with this kind of temperance like energy of like their heart pulling one way and their sexual needs kind of like telling them something else there's this um adjustment period where they get used to uh combining the two i think they felt previously kept this very separate and here it's like uh uh a mingle it's a new energy it's something they've not experienced before um and then you have the tower which can be a big shock a big surprise again it could be that this person's coming in they want to fight off the competition they want to surprise you and then the empress as well uh, like this per this person has this person on a head pedestal and the more they don't the more they hold it in the worse it's getting is the way it feels um okay let me look at distant horizons let me just move these over and up I just took everything in a bit there okay distant horizons why is distant horizons here please for virgo distant horizons ace of wands page of wands that's that person thinking with their uh their wand again seven of wands and strength yeah this person's really holding back 
They, I want to say that this person, Virgo, if this is a love interest who's got their eye on you, or if this is you and you've got your love interest, you know, you've got your eyes on someone else, there's this feeling of being like very, very, it's like, all, like fire on all cylinders, right? The ace of wands is, it can be phallic, just to make you aware. It can be, just as the cups can be symbolic of, um, women um, let's say gushing um, like the ace of wands can be symbolic of phallic things so it's it's the, but it's mars energy it's pure mars energy it's like fired up um motivated wanting to rush in very excited uh, it's kind of like all hot under the collar right and it's like this new idea i'm gonna go and do this so it feels like a new idea very creative very excited and then the page of wands is like planning um pages are always learning discovering figuring things out and again you, this person definitely has this figuring something out energy so he's got his wand in his hand guys and he's figuring out what to do with it um so it's this is with the seven of wands as well and the seven of wands is like standing in your ground uh planting your feet firmly being defensive with the strength card i really have this feeling of this person really holding themselves back it's kind of like kind of like the it could be again it's like the planning how do i fight off the competition how do i how do i defend these feelings but i really strongly get that they're holding themselves back they're holding they're holding themselves in a position but they have some kind they're trying to figure out that it could be like they want to race in they want to sweep you off your feet and kind of like immediately kind of like get to know you physically it could be something like that but uh the page of wands is not the key. it's funny because i want to say this is the king of wands right the king of wands is normally very experienced they're very um like a casanova type energy they know what they want they know how to get it um but mature with that right uh the page and the knight are kind of less physically experienced like physically experienced so you know that's someone who's kind of like trying it and getting it wrong a little bit um but I want to say there's an insecurity. It's like this person has this other person on such a high pedestal. Again, it's like dream girl energy. Hold on. Okay, so it's like uh, if this is somebody's dream girl, right? And again, it's like strength. It's like this companionship. If this is, yeah, and then planning again. Page of Pentacles, absolutely planning. Um, secretly with the moon. Um, if this is somebody's dream girl, they are... They want to get it right. They, they feel... They feel unprepared. They feel almost like going from, it's like I've, I'm the hottest guy in the room to, oh my goodness, but I've just met this the hottest girl in the room and she's 10 times hotter than me. What am I going to do? Like, I need to match that. So again, it's got this idea of like, I want to be the best. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to work out. I'm going to, um, when I show up, I'm going to, it's going to be, it does feel like fire on all cylinders, but it's, it doesn't feel like it's close. They feel like, again, there's some, for some reason, they're holding back. And I want to say it is because they don't feel good enough, right? And again, remember that song where it says, um, if I compliment him, he won't believe me. Uh, so it's, again, it's, this person feels inferior <laughs> compared to the, the dream person. Uh, tell me more about the... Yeah, thanks king of pentacles i knew it so there's another reading i think it was the aliens reading where i talked about this i keep getting the king of fire energy right the king of wands energy but it's the king of pentacles behind it so again it could be somebody could be watching this who perhaps has like a fire sign sun sign and a virgo mars placement because i've been getting this feeling of like the king of wands who on the surface appears very impulsive they appear like they're kind of like very spontaneous they're taking a risk they're taking a gamble uh you know people could be like oh my god like what are they doing how did they pull that off but behind it is this king of pentacles energy and it's almost like this person has actually planned this really really well and they've got the timing right you had all that stuff in the last reading about a window of time and like make and pulling off kind of like a feat of um like a magic trick it's like everybody's like oh my god how did virgo do that so uh, it has that kind of feeling to it again um again i don't know if this is you or somebody around you but king of pentacles um and i did say i was picking up king and queen of pentacles energy it is uh it could be that this person is very wealthy um it could be that this person's very skilled they could be very very good at the job very experienced in terms of uh work or business or money uh, i was actually seeing when i was talking about the queen of pentacles 
articles being Beyonce, I was actually seeing grapes and apples around her. Apples being symbolic of knowledge and grapes being uh, symbolic of um, wealth and abundance and kind of like enjoying that. So that could be something. Anything else about this King of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles, planning. The King of Pentacles in planning stage and then the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who is planning to... I want to say surprise someone they're planning to take action they're planning to be very spontaneous but it's again it's kind of it's it looks spontaneous maybe to the person they're approaching um they're coming in really fast but it's very very well planned when the king of pentacles plans something it could also be like a, a teacher and a student energy but i'm reading it as the king of pentacles just because of all the other cards that have come out really feels like this person is coming in hot they know what they want, King of Wands, right? And they have planned this out to a T. Very, very Virgo Mars. And when the King of Pentacles plans something, because of their knowledge and experience, it's normally a water type plan, right? And that water type plan is gonna have a plan B that's also a water type plan. Like the this person's probably accounted for error. Um, again, it came through the other day with someone who's like, they're placing bets, but they've calculated the odds, right? There's no way of losing. Because it's like they've, it's like betting on, like, say, like the probability, it came through like a horse race, right? It's like the probability of one of these horses, say there's 20 horses in the race, but uh, the probability of one of seven horses winning is 100%. It's like one of these seven horses is 100% going to win this race. So it's like if I bet the right amount on each horse, there's no way I can lose because I know one of them will win the race and I've calculated the odds so that no matter which one wins, I'm going to make it my money back and more. Like I cannot lose. So it's that kind of like hedging your bets energy, like almost like loaded dice, but not in a way where anyone's cheating anyone. It's more of a... A calculation like a, a knowledgeable calculation tell me more about distant horizons again this energy of like standing your ground being defensive look at these are two different cards but look at the imagery the seven of wands and the nine of wands so the seven of, seven of wands is like having to defend yourself having to uh, defend your position the nine of wands is kind of like the garden and the gate not the garden the gate the garden why do I keep saying the garden of the gate? That's nine of pentacles. I don't know why I keep saying that. Uh, the nine of wands is um, is um, the wounded warrior card. So this is somebody who has had to fight a battle for a very long time. They've had to really hold that position. Uh, they're getting exhausted, but they're not giving up, right? This is somebody who really has very strong perseverance with something. All wands as well. Look at all these wands. Definitely has some kind of fire sign placement I want to say or again this could be somebody really acting in the Mars energy maybe something going on in that person's uh if you go and look up your Mars placement oh my god the emperor this person has a lot of options but they're choosing you that's what this, this seven of cups always says to me uh again it's kind of magician energy somebody pulling off a trick right it's like um seeing right past any confusion seeing right past any um all the other options and and reaching out for you and this is somebody who's really stepping into emperor energy again i did see you've got all the cards i was talking about well you've not got the queen of pentacles but i do think that's you and i feel like your reading is talking about this other person um because they see you as the dream girl right we already know that you're the emperor so you're the queen of pentacles um this person like i say and this, again flip it and reverse it because uh you could be this person just whoever you identify with um this Right at the beginning, I was saying I'm seeing the Emperor, I'm seeing the King of Pentacles, I'm seeing my King card and my Ace and my Queen card, which is basically the King of Pentacles. What did I say? There's a Wealthy Man card as well somewhere that hasn't come out, but uh, it was in the pre-shuffle. So all this kind of like Money Man energy, right? Uh, it could be a boss with the Emperor, it could be a boss, it could be a father figure, Daddy's Rich, right? Uh, which explains why... Somebody could be seen as a gold digger, right? Because this really feels like eligible bachelor. I mean, it feels like Prince William turning up, basically. And Prince William wants you. And I'm not saying this is going to be Prince William. Obviously, he's married to Kate Middleton. But um, symbolically, it's like Prince William turning up, Prince Charming turning up and being like, I want you. Um, I, you know, this person as well, they are sure about what they want. If they're coming in with King of Wands energy and King of Pentacles energy, 
they know exactly what they want and they want you and they normally get what they want right they'll normally find a way um so yeah it's like the emperor to match they and they're showing up as emperor energy so like i said if they felt um if they felt like they weren't good enough for you um all this planning all this work that they're doing all this uh long term strategy that they've got going on yeah it could be they've been following some kind of program at the gym right but it's bringing them into emperor energy like they are leveling up to match you because they see you as being so like dream girl high above them again flip it and reverse it if, if this is the other way for you seven of pentacles again exactly what i'm saying this is somebody who this person whoever this is whoever i'm reading for and it's not going to be everybody's reading because like it doesn't feel like the sort of person you meet every day, right? There's not a lot of this type of person out there. This person persevered, right? It, like, they didn't give up. They stuck to the plan. They cared for whatever this was. It, it's like it, there was a time commitment, there was a plan, and they have done it to the letter, right? The Seven of, seven of Pentacles is like, it's kind of this card about reaping what you've sown and th good things take time. Uh, and this person's really kind of... Uh, it could be that they've made some kind of investment as well. You know, sometimes you can do fixed term investments and that's ripening, but they are stepping into Emperor Energy. It's funny because I was getting that song, um, you know, from Jessica Rabbit and it goes, uh, you had plenty of money 20 years ago. Uh, if you, what does she say? If you'd have, like if you'd have done something you wouldn't be knocking now from door to door. It's like if you'd have invested properly 20 years ago, you'd be rich now, but you'd, squandered your money and you know you've you, you know now you've got to kind of like knock from door to door but this feels like somebody who made the right investments at the right time and let them mature and that's uh that is pretty cool like and this if this is you virgo if this is you like well done because you've done something that not that many people do right they don't have the time they don't have the commitment it does feel taurian as well like king of pentacles is a taurus energy and that is somebody who they set the goal it's a long-term goal they stick to it they persevere and it pays off for them big time usually um so let's just see who are you guys around you at this time who are your spirit guides who's helping you at this time so there's this deck it's um, an angels and goddesses deck there's a lot of different deities from a lot of different religions and cultures uh so don't worry too much about you know whether that you identify with that or not pay attention more to the values that this is representing the look of the person it could remind you of an ancestor who's on the other side it could be that these values are something that you really need help with at this time but who is helping virgo at this time Okay, Archangel Zachiel, uh, Transmutation, Mercy, Violet Flame, interesting, Guru Ram Das, Humility, Spiritual Practice and Elevation, Thoth, Writing, I had paperback writer, do you remember, Wisdom Time, Akashic Records, and Goddess Kuan Yin, Compassion, Kindness and Divine Mercy. So anything there that jumps out of you, at you take that. These numbers could be meaningful to you. 10, 27, 34, 30, maybe like birthdays, birth dates, something like that. Um, and what is the advice? What is the advice for Virgo? Whoa. Okay, the star. I'm going to read the star because it's the one that was face up. You've also got five of... That's fighting for what you want, right? That's fight, That's preparing to go into battle to fight for what you want like fighting off the competition um i'll have a look at these but i'm going to read the star so you've also got seven of voices which is a little bit sneaky and then the chariot which is about uh taking the lead taking charge uh taking control of a situation bringing things into alignment i want to say it could be something about your light and shadow right bringing your own light and shadow your light side your dark side into alignment uh, not hiding the darker parts of yourself but accepting them embracing them and uh letting them giving them free reign in a healthy way um and yeah just really coming into alignment in order to move quite swiftly forward towards your goals towards your dreams towards your desires with the star card so we have i'm sorry about all the typing i thought you weren't going to be doing all the typing i got bored of the sims <gasps> how could you say that I... The star, renewed hope, expectations, positivity, dreams arriving, rewards, divine timing, opportunities, seeing beauty in your situation. 
um, optimistically collected. The star muse hears her name being called across the cosmos. It's like Again, I said it's like a psychic connection. Um, and she rises to hear the beckoning optimism of those who allow her energy to settle in their hearts. One foot in the water and one on land. That is very much this energy. Uh, it doesn't show it on this card, but normally the temperance card and the star card, they tend to have one toe in the water. Um, one foot in the water and one on land, she is able to draw on the power of the sea and the stars and use them to nourish dreams. She feeds desires, deep self-discoveries and bright wishes for a better future. And with light and clarity, she offers you a powerful message of fulfilment and a joyous wink filled with patience of hopeful expectations. Take a sip from her fountain of faith and believe in your incredible power to reach your goals. Open your heart to her starlight and sunshine, knowing that, knowing that your magic is here for you today and that it brings with it a promise of renewed hope and trust in your ability to shine. Emerge, sweet light. The starlight calls. Emerge the, with dream alive and fill your sky with hope, enthrall, bright, wishful, trust, arrive. So I want to say, Virgo's, uh, if you find it hard to take a compliment, you're getting the biggest compliment from the universe right now. Like if you don't see your own value, the universe absolutely does. And this is a value Virgo that is based on commitment, um, time investment, uh, sticking to a plan, developing your skills, like, uh, I don't know, taking practical steps towards your goals uh, and not giving up and having that kind of determination. I don't care if you're the masculine or the feminine in this reading, they're both showing up as King and Queen of Pentacles and Emperor and Empress, which is very, very cool. So the universe sees that, the universe is giving you a really massive compliment. I'm going to leave it there. Oh, I do want to get you a song actually before I go. And then I'm going to leave it there and then I'm going to go and sit on a hot water bottle that's been in the freezer. What do we have please um what do we have please for whoever this reading is intended for <laughs> all i want to do by danny minogue i've been getting the, the name danny through a lot um i thought it was just for me because my my cousin's called danielle um but the name's danielle danny uh, could be meaningful to someone else as well um all i want to do is touch you take a look inside my heart and tell me what you think you see I may not be the innocent girl that you wanted me to be, maiden. Um, some nights I don't want a lover. Some nights I don't need a friend. Some nights I just need somebody to hold me till the end. Because all I want to do is touch you. Take a look inside my heart and tell me what you think I need. You may not see the innocent girl that you keep inside your dreams. Some nights I just want a lover. Some nights I don't need a friend. Yeah, so it just repeats. Yeah, pretty much repeats. Uh, yeah, so somebody may uh, not be quite as sweet and innocent as they are perceived. Again, everybody, that could be the meaning of this. Everybody has light and shadow, right? Everybody has um, the maiden energy, but also the siren energy within them. Uh, it's just how much they tap into that and how much they uh, engage with that. Everybody has, everybody has a Lilith placement, guys, is what I'm going to say. All right. Take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Take care, Virgos. Bye.